Just left Mr. Miyagi. Tell that jump if that feel froggy. Cause I got one leg up in the middle of the ring and that, that a duck when a bell go ding. Give me a thumbs up if y'all know what song that is from. That is one of the first songs that I learned by Nikki. The actual first song that I learned by Nikki was Itty Bitty Piggy. I'm sure that was a lot of people's first song. And then after that was, let's see in the comments down below if y'all know what song that is. But how y'all doing? Ah, Nikki just released today. Okay, so this is Nikki's second collaboration with Mac. She did a Viva Glam before a couple years ago. I don't, I don't remember what year it was. I didn't get any of that, but here we are in 2017 with a whole collection of nude lipsticks and nude glosses. Some were permanent from Mac and repeats, but a lot of them, like majority of them are limited edition. She got to help pick out the other shades that were in the collection and she has two specific shades that are her signature lipsticks. So I'm gonna be doing a couple swatches. I just had to get these because it's limited edition. Once it's gone, it is gone. Okay, so I did a little swatch here and there. This is what I call my lighter skin representation swatch and my deeper skin representation swatch. Get into it. The pink print is the first one, so this is what it looks like. Kind of on lighter skin. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. And a little bit of deeper skin. I love it. It's still light, but it's like, it's still wearable. It's light, but it's wearable. But it's not my favorite finish, though. It is creamy. But because it is creamy, all you need is a little bit of translucent powder. And you can mattify it instantly. Back to the swatches. So we have the pink print as our first one. Then we're down to Nikki's Nude, which is the second one, which, oh my gosh, it's like that rose gold packaging. And then this nice coral tone, love it. So right after Nikki's Nude is the second one. The third one is Easy Baby. And by the way, that long swatch right there is my lip liner cork, which I would pair with any of these shades. This is my go-to liner. And Right after Easy Baby is my favorite shade from this collection, Derriere, that fourth one down. It's just about the same as my favorite lip liner. That's why I had to get it. <laughs> the second to last is Under the Sheets, which is just a lip glass. And then the final one is Nude. Okay, so for her two signature lipsticks, she actually got to custom design these two specific shades. So I'm starting off with the lighter of the two called the Pink Print. On the box it has her signature all over it. And then on the actual lipstick it has her signature as well. From the MAC website they describe the Pink Print as a mid-tone creamy pink. Now this is her second one. Um, same packaging, same box. I really like how shiny this one looks. This is Nikki's Nude, so the deeper of the two, which is one of my favorites. The other one, it is pretty, but it is a little light. And the formula for both of these are Amplified, which is a very hydrating, a very creamy lipstick. So less wear time. From the website, this is described as a soft, corally pink. Up next is Easy Baby. Now this is one of the regular lipsticks this one was limited edition though now the actual lipstick container is the average mac black bullet but the box that it came in it kind of reminds me of the mac lip liners like the boxes that the lip liners come in because they have a little bit of the color and the name at the top so you can kind of get an idea of what the shade looks like instead of all black box and it's a matte finish easy baby is described as a dirty latte brown the final lipstick that I picked up is called Derriere, and on the website, it's described as a dirty mid-tone yellow brown. I love this shade. This is like one of my favorite shades. When I saw this collection, this was the first shade that I fell in love with instantly. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Which I really thought that all of her lipsticks were going to have a signature, but I guess, you know, it's okay. It's okay because that makes the other two more valuable, but I wish this shade had her signature on it because it literally is my favorite shade from the entire collection. Really because it looks a lot like Cork Lip Liner, which is one of my favorite lip liners that I always use on my channel. So I picked up two of the lip glasses. Now this is the same packaging, kind of like the lipstick, where it's mainly black and then it has a little peep of colors just so you can see what you have. 
The lighter of the two is called Under the Sheets. And the two that I got are the only two that are limited edition. The other ones that are in this, this collection, the other four, are permanent. So you can always get those. So I had to get these. Under the Sheets is described as a light nude with gold pearl. The deeper of the two is called N-U-D-E, nude, and it's described as a sheer pinky nude. Okay, so I put back on Easy Baby, and now I'm thinking about it, I think that shade might be called Easy Babe, because usually when people write baby, they usually use B-A-B-Y, but this is spelled B-A-B-E. It really doesn't matter. I like saying easy baby because I feel like that's what Nikki would say. Easy baby. <laughs> I feel like she would say that over easy babe, but girl, it's a side note. Today's Black History Fact is on a very special pioneer of the civil rights movement, Miss Claudette Colvin. On March 2nd, 1955, Miss Colvin was arrested at the age of 15 years old for refusing to give up her seat on a bus in segregated Montgomery, Alabama. This was nine months prior to Rosa Parks. And being the age of 15, I cannot imagine standing up to the law and telling them that I'm not gonna do what they did. But I applaud her and Rosa Parks for what they did because that took a lot of courage, that took a lot of prayer. I know they prayed on that. That is just really amazing and I am so thankful for that. I honestly don't know if I could have done it personally. I I don't even like thinking about that time period of life and how people had to go through that. I'm so glad and so blessed to be living in the time that I am and the place that I am and really thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, okay, so thank y'all for watching my review video slash swatch video slash go get everything because it's Nikki video. If you are wondering, I did a video on how I do my hair, my curls, I have a like natural makeup video. So both of those will be linked in the description bar below. My hair video, uh, natural makeup video. The description bar is gonna have all links to any videos that you might be wondering or any questions that you might be wondering prices, blah, blah, blah. I'll put the link to the lipsticks from MAC, but it is limited edition. So as soon as it's sold out, MAC is gonna change the website and it won't be available anymore. But for the meantime, I will link it down below. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on a couple lipsticks. Let me know down below what lipsticks you like the best. Um, what do you think about Nikki's two signature lipsticks that she custom created herself and designed? Everything head to toe, the color, the finish, the everything. Okay, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to Styles by Jube and give me a big thumbs up and a share. I will see y'all in the next one. Adios. So this is a little outside, you know, chilling like a villain. I still have on Easy Baby. <laughs> I still have on Easy Baby and cork lip liner. And I'm wearing my Nicki Minaj shirts with black overalls i got my black overalls from forever 21 21 men the the men's side of forever 21 i got it there all right you guys see y'all in the next one